Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Reno's Roadhouse, Go Wild, Go West, Go Reno's, Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918, The Eagle Auto Group, your hometown dealer, Fazoli's of Moorhead, Fast, Fresh Italian, First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience, Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought, West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Dashboard Stereo, you're never too old, it's never too loud. Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, The Helpful Place, Wendy's of Moorhead, Fresh, never frozen. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine, close to home. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for over 100 years. Giovanni's of Moorhead, order online at giovannispizzapower.com. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. And by Standifer Builders Paving and Sealing, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Hello and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the Eagles Nest here at the Academic Athletic Center. As always, alongside the Eagle Head Basketball Coach Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick in Preston. You're off to a five and three start. Your only three losses against Power Five teams. You've swept the rest of the slate, including three wins over mid-major foes and two of those coming on the road and I know you have to be pleased. Yeah, you know, we're exactly where uh, we would hope to be. Obviously, you'd like to fare a little bit better against those uh, Big Ten and SEC teams, but, um, you know, you, you take away from each one of those a lesson and poke holes in your game plan and, and with your team and let you figure out you know, what you've got to work on to get better, what's going well, what's not. Um, but you're ultimately going to be measured against those like levels. You know, there's been major opponents, uh, the Mercers, the Bellamans, the Austin Peas, and uh, that they have an opportunity to take care of business in each of those three games. Um, and, and to do that on the road is, is really special. And really, the, you know, the defensive side of the ball is where we're winning those games right now, holding each one of those opponents to under 55 points, under 30% from the field, you know, still figuring our offense out. Uh, with, with so many new pieces, guys in new roles, and of course the absence of, of Mark, um, you know, and finding out the flow of our offense is, is still part of what we're working on. But the defensive consistency is something that gives us a chance to win every night. Stay with us when we come back. A big show today, and we'll start with highlights of Moorhead State's win over the Austin P. Governors. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. Take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Ginner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware was founded by Philip Lewis nearly 45 years ago and is still locally owned and operated by the Lewis family. Our customers' needs have always come first, meaning we continue to enhance and expand our inventory. Big Four is a staple of the Moorhead and Round County community, and we take great pride in giving back. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. 
The moment you walk through the door, you'll know why we are ACE, the helpful place. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead, Kentucky. These days, banking like basketball moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Eagle Game Highlights are sponsored by the Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday to you. Love you, McDonald, sir. Break us down, birthday boy. Family on three. One, two, three. Hey, Coming in today in Clarksville, my name is Mark Freeman. I'm here with Tad. And this is the birthday guy, man. Tell us how, how, you, how it feels waking up this morning, you know, being 21. Oh, yeah, you know, it feels great. You know, I got to give my life, uh, got to give the life to uh, God, wake me up this morning, uh, give me another blessed uh, day here on earth. Yeah. Uh, he woke me, you know, he wakes me up every single day, so we gotta get a blessing to him. It feels great. Have to, have to. Now, we're gonna get this win for you. Yeah, Austin people are gonna get this win for you today, man. And you know what we, what's your what's your what's your what's your birthday gift for me that you want? Just get a win. Let's get a win? Get a win. Alright, we're gonna go do Eagles. that. We're gonna do that for him. Let's go, Eagles. So a big happy birthday to our main man Tad Johnson, and he says all he wants is a win over P. And coach, your guys deliver. Well, we we love Tad. You know he's so important to to our program and to our community. So uh, great inspiration for our guys to step up on his birthday and deliver here. And so uh, got off to a really good start in this one, which as you know, DP is really important mm -hmm. in every game, but especially on the road. And so we jump out 10 to three and just did a great job sharing the basketball. We were shooting it well, we were getting stops and, and not getting stagnant, um, you know, on that offensive end. And you're just seeing again, just assisted baskets really moving, really sharing the ball. We had 11 assists on 21 made field goals in this game. Um, but then, you know, give, give Austin pre credit. You know, they, they really just kind of changed the game up a little bit. You know, got to talk about the highlight right there. You know, really inspirational right there uh, with, with Hansel Emanuel, you know, uh, the, the, the player who obviously is out there just doing things uh, phenomenally with one arm and got him a big time highlight on some great defense last night against us. And so happy to see that for a kid like that. But Man, Sharp um, was tough. Yeah, you know, DeMarcus Sharp is, is just such a dynamic and u unique player. Um, you know, a guy that can get, can go for so many points but doesn't really shoot the ball. He just he lives on really, really tough shots. And that's a lot of what our defense is, is we're going to make you take tough shots. And our theory is, DP, that, you know, you can't make enough of those to beat us. We just can't compile that with easy shots of leaving shooters, offensive rebounds, and points off turnovers. And so we came pretty close to giving those things up last night. But, um, you know, played with some really good pace at times, especially in the first 35 minutes of the game, and you're seeing a lot of that, Riley. Um, and, and But ultimately, you know, we, we, we struggled to just uh, get a rhythm at times. And again, you got to give them credit with their changing defenses. They would press, they would go man, they would switch man, they would trap, they would play a matchup zone, all of these things. So just all of those are extremely valuable for our team to be able to just keep our attacking mindset um, and, and make it more about players and concepts than we do about plays. And so uh, did some really nice things, you know, got the ball inside a good bit. Huge play right here to end the half. You know, uh, obviously you saw the, the clips scoring inside there and draw so much attention, which creates a long closeout for J2 getting in there, finishing through the contact for an N1 to, to tie everything up at 27 all there at halftime. But getting out in transition right here, we really started the second half with a great fire, you know, made some adjustments at halftime. Credit, you know, our guys, an older group that can come in you know, we can show them a clip or two at halftime, uh, draw on the board, you know, what Austin P was giving us trouble with, and then they did a great job making the adjustments. So these plays you're seeing on offense, they're coming after us getting stops to start the half and uh, getting out in transition. Really good play right here. Again, they just they kept you guessing on the offensive end with their changing defenses, but Drew doing what he does, getting in there, great pace in the ball screen, looking off the defense and finding Deontay for, for a big time flush. And again, this comes off a stop. This is us moving the ball, sharing, we call it getting it cooking right here. And um, 
You know, Jordan Latham huge on the glass, 12 rebounds in this game. And again, getting a stop, getting out, transition, making the easy play. Riley, beautiful finish mm -hmm. right there. Um, and then this is another great one right here, a guy that you got to respect because he can shoot it. And then just making the easy play and the extra pass, getting Khalil open. And so, uh, you know, it, it, we, we really played well. We wore down a little bit. Obviously, Trent not being able to play in this game due to an injury just forced other guys to play a few more minutes and it kind of wore us down and so we had some turnovers late right here that ultimately gave us 19 which is a tough number to win with uh, but they're a little bit skewed just because we had some coming down the stretch but again J2 doing a great job right there they switch the ball screen we get a defender's hips open he reattacks that's something we work on constantly and and then a great one right there just a beautiful play great skip pass and then Khalil Shooting threes from the corners is a tradition like no other. You know, it's something that he's, he's quite special at. Big free throws lay from J2. Huge, you know, and he kept giving himself an opportunity to get to the line to close the game out because, you know, we were getting stops and we talk about gang rebounding. You know, uh, Austin P's a great offensive rebounding team. They send a lot of guys to the glass, and so, you know, you might just have to come in out of nowhere and snatch a rebound out of, the, out of your position. J2 did that and secured the ball, got fouled, knocked in the free throws, and it, it leads to moments like this, <laughs> running into the other team's locker room and, and celebrating and, uh, you know, celebrating our boy Tad, you know, for his birthday. Uh, but, you know, road, road wins are our special DP, and we're going to celebrate all wins. And, uh, you know, you're even seeing guys that didn't play a lot in this game. Like you know, George. Like he, George. He was leading the celebration. Absolutely. Jerome, you Jerome. know, didn't play a ton, you know, and they're, and they're really enjoying and getting <laughs> in on the on the celebration with these guys. And uh, Jaden Webb right here hadn't blogged a minute for us this year, but doing some great things. And so it, we're even getting our boy Hunter in, involved in the mix right here. How about that? That's some... Uh, that's some really good dance moves from Hunter. You know, he's, he's kind of telling on himself what he's capable of, of, uh, of celebrating the locker room. So we're going to have to make sure moving forward that we get my guy Hunter in there to, uh, to be involved in those celebrations and uh, lead, the, lead the dances for us. Coming up, it's basketball with Bree as Brianna Russo catches up with one of the OVC's star players, Riley Minix. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Dashboard Stereo is the best location for all of your car and truck accessory needs. Dashboard specializes in remote starts and WeatherTech products, plus computer and phone repair. Dashboard is the oldest kicker dealer in the United States. Remember, you're never too old. It's never too loud. Hi, I'm Jimmy Watson, owner of Dashboard Stereo. We are proud supporters of Preston Spradlin and Moorhead State Basketball. Go Eagles! At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Basketball with Bree is sponsored by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. Welcome back to another edition of Basketball with Bree. My name is Brianna Russo, and today I am joined by Riley Minix, who is a newcomer to the team, but already so well known by Moorhead State fans because of his great play on the court. Riley, how have you enjoyed being a Moorhead State basketball player thus far? I've just really enjoyed the team here. Just 
all my teammates and then the coaching staff, just the culture that they've built here and me coming in, just playing with them, uh, just coming in every day, enjoying basketball and loving to be around these guys. It's just, it's been a great experience so far. So Riley, you are leading the team in points, rebounds, free throw shooting and minutes played. That's a pretty big impact that you're making on the team. How do you feel about that? Um, I would say it's less about the impact that I'm making on the team and more about the impact that they make on me. Uh, just them going out there, trusting me every night. Uh, they know what I bring to the table and that goes for my teammates and the coaching staff. And I feel like I just go out there and do what I can do, try and do my job and bring what I bring to the table. And they've done a great job in accepting me this year and just playing around me and making it easy on me, so. Riley, you have played four years of NAIA basketball and are in your first year of playing Division One, which makes the impact you're making even more impressive. Talk a little bit about that transition. Um, I would just say playing basketball, there's high level guys at every level. Um, I've definitely played some high level talent in the NAIA, but just coming here, the transition to Division One, it's just been a lot more information thrown at me. So me trying to gather that and be able to distinguish what to do in different situations and scenarios. And then playing off my teammates, like I have really good teammates around me, which is like similar to what I came from, but they just make it a little bit easier. And just being able to be with them and just play the talent I play on a daily basis, playing the high level division one guys, it's just, allows me to showcase what I can do a little bit more. So. Riley, your family has been in attendance already to several games this season. Um, that's a lot of travel and that's a lot of support that they show you. How special is that? Um, it's just, my family is amazing. I, I'm, I'm just truly blessed to have them and be given them in my life and for them to raise me. And like, I continue to try to make them proud each and every day and like, I'm just, truly blessed for everything that they do for me, traveling to my dad the first five games and then my mom, because of work, she made it to the first couple and just having them in the stands, knowing that they love me, no matter the result of the game, uh, it's just, it truly keeps me going and allows me to play to the best of my ability. Riley, thank you for joining me on the show today. We are so proud of all the success that you've had so far and can't wait to see more of the outcome on the court this season. And stay with us because we are headed to the practice court with Coach Kai Klingsik and Deontay Miles. My great-grandfather opened the first Hinton Mill store back in 1918. Our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have five locations and a wide range of products including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton, inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Practice Court is sponsored by Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. I'm Kai Klingzik. We're on the practice court today, and today we're joined by 
seven foot graduate center Deontay Miles. Deontay, you've been with us for about six months and played eight games. We're five and three right now. What are you thinking about Moorhead uh, so far, the team, the staff, and Moorhead as a whole? Uh, man, I, I mean, it's a big transition from where I came from, but I love it, man. I mean, just the, the, from starting with the players, you know, my teammates, you know, those guys are a great group of guys, love them to death. I mean, you know, it's a, again, like I said, it's a big transition, but they made me feel very welcome. You know, it made me feel like a brother, and I just, you know, they're my second family, I like to say. I love Moorhead as the community as a whole. It's very much, I mean, it reminds me of my hometown, like I always say. You know, very small, but a lot, a lot of good people in the community. Uh, you know, the university itself, I, I know it's, again, it's a big transition, but I'm starting, I'm starting to settle in and get used to it. You know what I mean? It's very, again, it's just very reminds me of my hometown. I mean, it's just, I love it to death. Absolutely. We've been glad to have you here. Deontay's been a big part of our defense. We call him the captain of our defense. Um, he's leading it. He's leading all of our communication. I mean, with me, it's a, my biggest thing and my role in the team on defense is, as a leader is to communicate at all levels. I got to communicate what screen, what uh, direction the ball screen's coming in. You know, I got to call out rip screens and stuff like that. I got to let my teammates, I got to give them uh, a lot of confidence to be able to juice the ball up knowing that I'm back there, you know, controlling everything, seeing over everything and having their back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you talked a little bit about it, but defense, especially in our scheme, is a lot based on the hips and whenever people get into our guards hips and they get downhill um, and get them to open up that's whenever Deontay you'll see um, a lot in Johnson Arena coming up you'll see him coming over to block some shots um, and even in the post whenever we're going one-on-one -on -one, um, we're going straight to it um, Deontay is going to win every hip bump the guard's going to try to get into him get into his chest but Deontay's not going for that. He's got his hips, he's wedging them out. Um, and then a big part of our defense as well um, is ending every possession with a rebound. Um, we can play great defense for 30 seconds. If we don't get a rebound, then it's all for nothing. Getting defensive stops is very, very important, but finishing them with a rebound really pushes, really takes it to the next level because when you're able to do that, you limit teams to one shot and one shot only, and then they don't, then it takes their confidence, you know, when they can only get one shot and then we play the best defense that we possibly can and making them shoot a tough two, a tough three, you know, it just it takes it to the next level when you're able to get an offense rebound and not let them gain confidence by getting another shot, you know, and then it, it just, it, makes things a whole lot better. Deontay, thanks for being with us. This guy's the backbone of our defense. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with DP and Coach on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Hello, Eagle Nation. Kelly Wells, Athletic Director at Moorhead State University. Uh, here to welcome my brother-in-law and uh, alumni of Moorhead State University and also a proud uh, donor of athletics who's done so much for our department. And uh, Gary, want to thank you for all your, your help with athletics as well as uh, the university as a whole. Thank you, Coach and brother. We appreciate the, the support that you give us and we are proud to be able to support the university uh, being an alumni myself and having a business here in town. We have several franchise brands. We have Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram, Chevrolet, and GMC. Uh, two locations, downtown at the Chevrolet GMC store. Here at 801, we have the Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram. Call, stop and see us. You know, we're, we're here to help with any of your automotive needs. We are proud owners of uh, Eagle Auto Group Automobiles, and we're thankful for Gary and his entire crew here at uh, Eagle Auto Group. Thanks again, brother. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is the place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Welcome back in to Inside Moorhead State Basketball, and it is Sunday afternoon, which means the Eagles have a big home game today at 4 o'clock. You welcome in Chattanooga, a very talented 5-2 team. 
They already have wins over Louisville, Bellarmine, Tennessee Tech, and SEMO, and Preston, these guys are really good. They're really good. They're really well coached. You know, they play in a, in a great league in yes. the SOCON, and, uh, you know, you heard a lot of common opponents there. Um, and, and, and they played Lipscomb, who, you know, we scrimmage each and every year. And so we're very familiar with Chattanooga, although we haven't played them, obviously watching them against a lot of teams that we have played and that we will play a little bit later in the year. And so this is a really good mid-major team. This is going to be a great matchup. Uh, first time that we've played these guys um, since I've been here. You know, I don't know the last time that Moorhead's played Chattanooga, but we began the series this season here in Moorhead, and so we need our fans to get out here. Uh, get up, go to church, enjoy, get you a nice meal, and then uh, get out here at 4 o'clock for a tip-off against really good Chattanooga team and two great teams going head-to-head -head here in Johnson Arena. We hope to see you at 4 o'clock. Eagle Nation show up and cheer the Eagles on to a win. That's it for us this week, and on behalf of the Eagle Head basketball coach, Preston Spradlin. I'm David Patrick. We look forward to seeing you next Sunday right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Reno's Roadhouse. Go wild. Go west. Go Reno's. Hinton Mills. Serving farmers since 1918. The Eagle Auto Group. Your hometown dealer. Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh Italian. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Dashboard Stereo. You're never too old, it's never too loud. Big Four Lumber. Ace Hardware. The Helpful Place. Wendy's of Moorhead. Fresh, never frozen. Eagle Finance. Loans made easy, payments made affordable. Joshua Trent Custom Designs. Looking to build? Let us design your house plans. The Citizens Bank. The home of totally free checking. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. St. Clair Healthcare. Amazing medicine close to home. Commercial Bank of West Liberty. A source of strength for over 100 years. Giovanni's of Moorhead. Order online at giovannispizzapower.com. Total Care Pharmacy. Dispensing care one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. And by Standifer Builders Paving and Sealing, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.